Hiya, I'm Aled from The Chris Moll Show and The Surgery. Have you ever wondered why we play some songs and not others on Radio 1? Most tracks between 4am and 7pm come from the Radio 1 playlist. So how do songs, like this one, get to be on the Radio 1 playlist? How do we choose them? In many cases, one of the specialist music shows like Zane Lowe, Grimmy, or BBC Introducing with Hugh Stevens will play the record first. Then, one of the producers from these shows will take the record that they believe in to the In New Music We Trust meeting, chaired by the Radio 1 music team. Um, I actually quite liked it, you know, but the problem being, Wiley's already there, isn't he, on the playlist? At, at the moment, she's not the right, she's not at the right level yet. She had a song last year which we did support on Raz quite a lot, and it's right that Raz is still supporting her, but she's not quite ready for Trevor yet. Here the producers of Radio One specialist music shows put forward an argument as to why their genre of music warrants reflection on the Radio One playlist, or why they think the track they're supporting is strong enough to be played throughout the day on Radio One. Usually, two or three songs are selected to go through to be discussed the next day at the mainstream playlist meeting. Record companies have an opportunity to see members of the mainstream playlist team to tell them about the exposure their songs had on TV, radio and in the press. They also discuss reasons why they think Radio 1 should play their record. The people who do this for a living are called pluggers. Getting a record on the Radio 1 playlist is, is, is really, really important to us. We, I mean, we're a national promotions company, we deal with national stations, so for us, Radio 1, uh, for, for the right artists, you know, is everything really. Radio 1 is one of the biggest uh, national stations in the country with the biggest audiences. So to get a record on a playlist means that you, you hit a lot of people um, every time the record's played. You've also got the fact that a lot of other media are looking at what Radio 1 do to take their lead. So regional stations, TV channels, you know, the press, they'll all be looking at what, you know, what they go with and when they go with it. The music team will bring up any songs that they think should be discussed in playlist, including new pop tracks that may not come through specialist music shows. They then create a list of about 15 songs to be discussed. Radio One's head of music, George Ogatudis, selects producers from a range of Radio One shows to make up the playlist team. They're carefully chosen to cover different areas of expertise and to reflect a broad range of music tastes. At the playlist meeting every Wednesday afternoon, they democratically debate what music to support. So everybody, let's have a look at the playlist this week. And as we always do, let's start with the A-list and see what we're going to move. Dizzy Rascal, again, is working for us. We've got one extra live coming up imminently. Uh, I think we should keep that in the mix. Uh, likewise, Kesha, TikTok, again, you know how well that's selling. Uh, and Sam Good on air, you happy to carry on with that as we get to release? Each member of the playlist team is also allowed to bring up any tracks that they think have the credentials to be in daytime rotation on Radio 1. Okay, Laura, have you got anything you want us to have a look at? Yeah, I've got two. First one is Ayaz. Okay. Sam, have you got anything to Yeah, I've got um, just the Lost Prophets Where We Belong. Okay, let's have a listen to that. Okay, so this is the follow up single to the top 20 um, hit, It's Not the End of the World, um, from the new album The Betrayed. We've had some really good support across the board with Joe Wiley, Nick Grimshaw, and Zane Lowe. The online stats are really low at this stage, mm -hmm. probably because there isn't an official video and maybe has not many radio airplay because it hasn't, they're not even playing the song on yeah. YouTube or anything. I'm not really rock here or anything, but it sounds I can hear it on, on mainstream radio. Seems, uh, so the playlist is now over. The music team and I are going to work out what the feedback will be to the record companies and they'll construct the playlist. Let's leave them to it. Lauren from the music team will then send off the playlist to the music industry at 5.15 on a Wednesday afternoon. This may seem very specific, but it's very important to record companies because it can literally make or break an artist's career. On playlist today, on um, Wednesdays, from about 5, we'll, you know, we'll just be pressing refresh, refresh, refresh in the office. Wednesdays can be the best day of your life or the worst day of your life, both, <laughs> both the same. And when you're waiting for a playlist, you've normally got a good idea of how it's going to go, so sometimes you know you're going to have a good one. And it's literally, it's a proper excite excitement that's running through the office. Starting on the Monday after the playlist, the record ends up in rotation on shows like Moyles, Fern and Scott. 
having gone through a long process of discussion so that we give you a varied mix of music from new and upcoming bands to the biggest names in pop throughout the day. Right, Zane's been playing this a lot. It's the first play for me in the afternoons of this track. It's brand new from Lost Profits. It's not the end of the world, but I can see it from here. Radio 1. (laughs) 